Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, this morning we're going to have a shave with a brand new razor. The Calypso from Sheldon Quinn and Global Shave Clubs International. This is an absolutely beautiful three-piece open comb razor. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice heft and balance. Precise blade alignment. Wonderful precise blade balance. Really very, very nice intricately and precisely manufactured really a stunning stunningly good looking razor and just absolutely beautiful mild shave with it anyone can use this razor although if you fall into a category because of your racial or ethnic background where the wet shave has been a bit of a challenge for you this razor is targeted to those specific groups that have that problem or have that challenge with the traditional wet shave. I have a link below where you can get additional information. Anybody can use this razor, but specifically, if you are a person of color who has a challenge with the traditional wet shave, this very well could be uh, your answer and your solution. It is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful razor. So, we're going to shave with this. It is a three-piece razor. I'm going to open it up for you. It has a brass handle, a stainless steel plate, base plate, and a pewter cap. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful razor. And we're gonna shave with it this morning. So I'm gonna be using an Astra razor blade. I'm gonna kick it off with Vikings Blade Gentle Mint Pre-Shave Oil. I'm also gonna be using Palmolive Shave Cream. I haven't used this in a while. I'm gonna take it right out of the tube. Love this stuff, love that palm extract uh, scent to it. Really terrific shaving cream. We're going to be using my Samog uh, 1800 Bore Shaving Brush. It's soaking in the sink right now. Boy, that is soft. I like to use the natural hair uh, brushes with uh, shaving cream. And of course, you know, I use synthetics for, for the hard soaps and the shaving sticks. But this morning, we're going to use the Samog 1800 Bore Brush. I'm going to be using a shaving bowl that was crafted by a local Cleveland artist. Uh, I got it as a Christmas gift uh, a couple of years ago from my nephew, Tom and love this shaving bowl. It's almost like a one of a kind. We're gonna finish it off with a Osma Allen block and uh, some Pinot Clubman aftershave and some Avon Wild Country aftershave balm for upstairs and maybe even around the face a little bit because the scent of the Wild Country does complement that of the Pinot Clubman. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm gonna load my razor. There it is. Again, perfect blade balance, perfect blade alignment, and uh, the end tabs are somewhat enclosed on the, on the ends of the razor, which is also a big plus. So they don't protrude too much, but you can't feel them there, but they're, they're very, very close to the ends of the razor head, which is really nice. I prefer that. So there it is a mild, mild razor. So let's get right to it and let's uh, wet the face and get on with the shave. Okay, we're all lathered up. We got a good coating. As you can see, I painted on the lather. I did very, very little face lathering, which is uh, really another nice process of the traditional wet shave. You just build the lather in the bowl, and then you just paint it on. So uh, the bore brush is very, very, very soft. Rather stiff when it's dry, almost like a little bundle of hay. 
but when you uh, wet that, it becomes very, very soft. So we're all set. The blade is all loaded up. And we're gonna go ahead and heat this up. All right, swirl in the water to bring it up to temperature. All right, here we go, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Very, very mild, really nice. I don't tend to stretch my skin with my alternate hand. I do stretch my skin just using my facial muscles and uh, elongating my neck a little bit. I don't like to overstretch my skin too much. I put my tongue onto my lip and I just bulb it out like that in order to stretch the skin there in order to cut that whisker off. And then I just, like that, in order to stretch out the surface of the chin to cleanly uh, cut the whiskers there. So a lot of face stretching is what I do. You know, <laughs> that sort of thing, okay. And again, doing the lip, I'm, I'm stretching and pulling my upper lip down in order to stretch that skin out. But I am, I am, I'm pulling it down and I'm to do the sides like that. Those are the kinds of facial expressions I make during my wet shave, but uh, I don't use an alternate hand to stretch the skin. I just use my facial muscles. Just a little something to mention to you. Uh, you can incorporate it into your own wet shave. First pass done. Let's rinse. That's a nice first pass. Uh, you know, I forgot to mention, this is a really mild yet very efficient razor. Really, really efficient. I'm probably only going to need two passes. Really, that's how efficient the razor is. But yet, it's very mild. That's why it's uh, such a home run. All right, let's uh, ladder up for pass number two. Okay, we're all laddered up and ready for pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. And again, all you need is a light touch for this shave, light touch. It's all you need with this razor.
that's pass number two done. Let's rinse. Well, I only need two passes. I'm done. I'm done. And truth be told, I've been using the razor most of this week, so I knew uh, that I was only going to need two passes. Yeah, some shades I did three passes, but really, this is this is a really close, efficient shave and mild too. Uh, Alan Block is going to tell the tale of the tape, so we're going to use that. Uh, but I'm going to do my two final rinses right now: one warm, one cold, and then. Uh, and then the owl block, and then we'll know uh, how mild this was. But it is a mild, mild razor, yet very, very efficient. Okay, here's my warm water rinse. Oh, very nice, very nice. So we're gonna move it to the cold side and finish up with my cold water rinse. Very nice, very, very nice. I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. You know, I dare say that if I had to run out the door for some for some reason, um, I'd be fine right now. That's how mild the shave was, really. But we're going to use the Allen block because that's always a good routine, part of the routine to have. We're going to just take the Allen block, run it under some cold water, and run it across the, the face for those uh, micro abrasions, small nicks and cuts that may have occurred. Uh, keeps down uh, irritation, that sort of thing. All right, here we go. All right, very nice. No stinging, no zinging. A mild shade, yet really, really efficient. I am surprised. I'm so surprised by this razor, how mild it is and how comfortable and smooth it is. Of course, the Astro blade is a really nice smooth blade too. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, this razor really knocked it out of the park as far as a mild yet highly efficient shave. Um, I'm, you know, I'm stunned uh, every time I've used it, and I've used it most of the week. It's amazing. It really is amazing. So we're going to take my Allen block and put it in the dish here, and uh, like that, and let it air out, and uh, we'll have it ready for tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to do a little cleanup, and I'll be right back to finish up the shave. All right, I'm just doing a little cleanup while I let that alum set up on, the, on my face. Some wet shavers apply the alum, wait a little bit, and rinse it off. Other wet shavers, like myself, apply the alum block, and then just let the alum set up there, and then uh, apply an aftershave afterwards. It's all in how you want to do it. Um, there's really no hard and fast rule. I like to leave the alum on. Some wet shavers rinse it off. Now, uh, the boar brush, boy, these boar brushes are great. Look how this has bloomed and blossomed over use. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on how to do a quick break in on a bore brush, because you do have to break them in over time, uh, there is a quick way to break them in. Check out that video, uh, and you'll uh, you know you'll get a really nice result like this, and it, it really is great for shaving creams, um, lathering shaving creams, nice and soft, and boy, uh, they do clean up well. Uh, just give them some shakes, a little gentle squeeze, uh, buff them in the towel, and uh, boy, oh boy. They are ready for your next shave and just hang it on your razor stand and you're all set to go uh, for the next day. Really like the Samoag 1800 bore brush. Uh, I'll have a link below if you're interested in getting one. And please know that when you click a link, you do help support this channel. Just so you know, full disclosure, that sort of thing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with some Pinot. I have it in my own little bottle here. This is an Avon Wild Country bottle that uh, uh, I'm using because it's glass and I've often heard that aftershave keeps longer in a glass bottle, which is why I moved it to a glass bottle from a plastic, from its original plastic bottle. Okay, here we go. Very nice. And again, 
There's no stinging, there's no zinging because it was such a mild, mild shape. Really, really nice. All I'm feeling is the refreshing toning, uh, refreshing and toning qualities of the Pinot Clubman. Really, very, very nice. A um, little bit of wild country here for upstairs and downstairs. Maybe a little more now that it's evaporated a little bit there. You know, I could do either or. I could do one or the other. Today I'm doing both because I had a great shave. <laughs> a great, great shave. And wow, this razor is wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful, mild razor, yet highly, highly efficient. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really, if the wet shave has been a challenge for you because of your background, check this out. It's specifically designed for those individuals who have found the wet shave to be a challenge because of their their racial or their ethnic background. And really, uh, anyone can use this, but specifically if you're one of those individuals who has, try, who has had a real challenge doing the wet shave, check out this razor again. I'll have a link below where Global Shave Clubs International provides additional information regarding this, but anybody can use this razor. This is really a wonderful razor. It's quickly becoming one of my favorites. Really, really like it. It's wonderfully manufactured. Boy, a real robust plating or coating here. I don't know how they did that, but that is just absolutely gorgeous. And um, great grip, really, really good knurling, great grip, nice balance, nice weight. Uh, again, the blade balance and alignment is absolutely precise in the head. Um, just a really, really terrific, terrific, terrific razor. Really very, very nice. This is gonna last a lifetime. So really, check it out. I'll have links below. Uh, anyone can use it, but if you're someone who, who's found that the wet shave has been a bit of a challenge, this razor is absolutely for you. So uh, I'll have links below where you can get additional information. All right, hey, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Please check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.